Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In this video, I am going to show you how we can reset a form in our Angular application. This is a continuation video of my previous video where we have created a form and added a binding to our class. If you have not watched those videos, please watch those videos as well. I have given a link to those two videos in the below description. Resetting a form is one of the basic feature which is widely used in our forms which will help us to reset the content whatever users has entered in input fields or any fields which will clear the entire data from this input field. So currently we don't have that feature implemented in this form. So I will show you how we can add that feature here. So as I mentioned earlier, for this one, first we need to have a form as we have a HTML bootstrap template here where we have three fields and a reset button. And we have binded this one to a class where same three properties are defined here. And these are linked to our HTML form using two-way binding of Angular by creating an object in our TypeScript file. To know in detail how it's done, you can refer my earlier two videos. I have given links of those in the description as well. So once you have the binding and template ready to reset the form, whenever we click on a reset button, create a function for that one, reset form function. As we want to reset this form, here you can add this object reset form. As the text or content entered by the user using this form is getting captured in this object. So we are taking this object and within this object, I want to reset the full name. So I can take that property and I can assign blank to that property. Similarly, you can assign blank for other properties as well. For country also, you specify the blank and similarly for city also define the blank so whenever this function will be called these three properties will be reset so according to our requirement we need to call this function on click of this reset button so we need to add a click event for this reset button to add a click event to this button go to html template and for this reset button add a click event and on click of this one, we need to call it function reset form function. So mention that function here. So now whenever this reset button is clicked, this function will be called. So within this function, we have added a code to reset the form elements. And another final thing which we have missed out is we have used the two-way binding in our application. So when we use to a binding in our application, we need to add name attribute as well for our HTML elements. So I will add full name for first element and for second, I will add as country and for third, add city. So once you are done with adding names, save this file and go back to your browser. So let me add content here, first name. I've added Sanjay, then country as India and city as Bangalore. So now we'll click on reset button. As you can observe here, as soon I clicked on reset button, this form gets reset here. So whatever the content entered by the user, that will be reset to null or the initial state here. So this is how we can reset the form by using simple steps hope you understood how we can reset the form in our angular application that's it guys for this video thank you for watching this if you like this video please subscribe to my channel click on like button and share it to others